football were about talent alone, UCLA would be closer to the college football playoff picture than you might think. Of course, you got to have durability, too, and a strong finish. And last season's Bruins team didn't have that. Injuries on the defensive side matted up, and the Bruins lost three of their last four. The rush defense, simply put, was not there. And during this season, though, quite a few starters returned for Jim Moore's team, and there's no doubt that their quarterback is a star on the rise. Not bad for a freshman, huh? Josh Rosen had so much hype on him entering last season as a true freshman, and I thought he handled things pretty well. Threw for nearly 3,700 yards, but don't forget, too, he also had a modest 23 touchdown pass total as well. But Rosen needs to watch for those picks, okay? He threw 11 interceptions a year ago. So maybe a new offensive coordinator in Kenny Palomalu, along with that year of experience, and a new style offense, which would be a pro style offense, will be more compatible for him. Receivers, though, took a hit because of the NFL draft, so you'll have Darren Andrews and Kenny Walker, who could be the main targets for Rosen, but the number one guy could be the true freshman in Theo Howard. Watch for him. Running game, Paul Perkins, their 1,000-yard rusher, did leave early, so you have uh, Soso, Jamambo, and Nate Starks, both average a little more than six yards per carry, so maybe they won't miss Perkins as much. Offensive line, exterior, I like them. Uh, Connor McDermott could be All-American. The interior is really the area where they don't have as much experience, just a lack of depth overall in that offensive line, especially the interior. And to play on a championship level, you have to overcome losses, and UCLA had plenty of them. Eight players picked in last year's NFL draft. Five of those, by the way, were underclassmen, and other than Ohio State, UCLA lost more underclassmen to the draft than any other school. And despite the departures to the NFL, there is still plenty of experience coming back for the Bruins on defense. Secondary is one of the best in the country. Number one last year in the Pac-12 in pass D. You can see the safeties there. They'll be a major factor. Front seven, of course. This is an area where they've got to do better as far as rush D, especially the defensive line. They'll be switching, it looks like, to a 4-3, so they should be a little bit better against the run. They were dreadful in rush D, and that was a big reason why the Bruins last season faded down the stretch. Russell Griswold. Oi, goi, my good man. Time now for my six-pack of games to consume. Yeah, September does not look fun, but if the Bruins can get past that opening month with flying colors, it could be a nice season for the guys at Westwood. Keep in mind that Stanford, as well as Utah and USC, all have to come to Pasadena, and there's no Oregon or Washington on the schedule. Josh Rosen should only get better, and the defense is experienced enough for UCLA to win the South and possibly the Pac-12 Conference. That's my look at the Bruins. We'll catch you later.